Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a Japanese bridge, which was a request. When crocheted using eight ply yarn and a three millimeter hook, the large one, the size is 24 centimeters wide by 12 centimeters or nine and a half inches wide by four and a half inches. The medium bridge crocheted using four ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 millimetre hook is 15 centimetres wide by 7 centimetres or 6 inches wide by 2 and 3 quarter inches. The small bridge crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook is 12 centimetres wide by 6 centimetres or 4 and 3 quarter inches wide by 2 and a half inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today the size will be between the medium and large bridges. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 115 hot red, 074 mercury, 110 black and 393 charcoal. I'll be using a 2.5mm crochet hook. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends scissors and red sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now we're starting on this bridge support at the bottom there. I've got my 115, the hot red, and we start with 42 chain. Now there's my 42 chain. Now we miss the first three chain and we work one double crochet into each of the following four chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the fourth chain from the hook and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. We need one double crochet into each of the next three chain as well. And then we work two double crochet into the next chain. That's just going to give the bridge the bend. Now we're going to repeat that one double crochet into each of the next four chain. and two double crochet into the following chain. Then one double crochet into each of the next four chain. And 
to double crochet into the following chain. And we'll just repeat that until we have four chain left. So one double crochet into each of the next four chain and two into the following chain until we have four chain left. Now I've got four chain left, I've just worked two double crochet into the last chain. So I work one double crochet into each of the last four chain. And then we fasten off. And that's the bridge support done. I'll just weave in these ends and I'll be back with the charcoal and the mercury and we'll work the bridge deck. Now for the bridge deck, We'll be using the mercury and the charcoal and we're going to be working into the back loops only. This is the front loop here and this is the back loop. So we'll only be working into the back loop. We're going to join the 07 for the mercury into the top of the chain, those chain left at the beginning. So the last chain left. and work three chain. Now we're going to work a joined treble over the next three stitches. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. Now for a joined treble, we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch just into the back loop and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the back loop only of the next stitch and bring up a loop, 
yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. There are three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. There's four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Now we're going to join in the charcoal. Now I just put a, the yarn over the top and take it round twice. We're going to be working treble. So I've got two loops over my hook and I've got the tail at the back. If you can hold the tail at the back. Now we're going to work one treble into the next stitch in the back loop only. So put your hook into the next stitch in the back loop only and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops and then yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. Now we're going to leave the charcoal and bring the mercury under. Now the most important thing is not to keep crossing the yarn one on top of the other because you'll just get it tangled. So I'm going to keep the charcoal at the top and bring my mercury from underneath. So we work one treble in each of the next two stitches in the back loop only. So yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and then yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and then another treble into the next loop, into the next stitch in the back loop only. And we try not to pull our stitches too tight. Now we're going to bring the charcoal in and work a treble into the next stitch in the back loop only. And then with the mercury we work one treble into each of the following two stitches. And then with our charcoal, we'll work a treble into the next stitch. And we'll just repeat like that, working one treble into each of the next two stitches with the mercury and then one treble into the following stitch with the charcoal. And then one treble into each of the next two stitches with the mercury. And one treble into the following stitch with the charcoal.
and that's what our work looks like. We just repeat that until we have three stitches left. So work two treble with charcoal, with sorry, mercury, and then one with charcoal. Right across.
Now there's three stitches left. I'm going to work a join treble over the last three stitches. So I put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook twice, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we fasten off. We can fasten off the charcoal as well. And that's the deck part done. The bridge doesn't have as much of a curve now, but when we make it up, we'll give it a bit more of a curve. Now I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with the black and we'll work this part here. Now for this black part, I've got my 110, the black, and we join just in the first front loop left. So just in here. And we're going to be working into those front loops we left. So this is the next front loop. We're going to work a slip stitch. So we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So just one slip stitch in each stitch across. Now it is easier if you bend your work to find the loop. And we try not to pull it too tight to pull the bridge flatter.
and once we get to the end of the row we fasten off. And that's the deck and the bridge support part done. We'll start on this post here now. I've got my 115, the hot red, and we start with 14 chain. We miss two chain and work one double crochet into each chain to the last chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So miss two chain and work one double crochet in each chain until there's one chain left. and work two double crochet into the last chain. And we fasten off. That post just slopes down the side of the bridge. Now for this second near post, I've still got the red and we start with 15 chain. We miss two chain and work one double crochet in each stitch until we have two stitches left. So miss two and work one double crochet in each of our chain until there are two chain left. Now I've got two chain left. We work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. 
there's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we fasten off. And that post goes on that side, so it needs to slope up a little bit. Now, for these near post tops, I've got my 393, the charcoal, and we start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then the long end over the short end to make a circle. I put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with my yarn at the end through the circle. And then we work one chain and work three single crochet into the circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put a hook into the circle and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the loops. So we need two more single crochet into that circle. And then we pull the circle tight. So we take hold of this tail and just ease it in. And then we join our circle with a slip stitch in the top of the chain. And then we work two chain and then slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. So just slip stitch into there. These are a bit fiddly. And then slip stitch into the side of the circle near where we worked our chain. And then fasten off. I leave a longer tail at the end because I'll use that to stitch it to the post. And that's the first post top. The second one is work the same. We make a magic loop and work one chain and then work three single crochet into the circle. We pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the chain and then we work two chain and work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch into the circle side of the circle near where we worked our chain and fasten off with a longer tail And that's the second post done, second post top. Now we'll work this first far post. We join it onto our bridge deck. So we're going to join four stitches back. So just in here. And we start with 11 chain. Now we miss the first chain and work one half double crochet into each chain to the last chain. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, so the second from the hook, and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. So one half double crochet in each chain until we have one left.
going to work two half double crochet into the last chain. And slip stitch into the next stitch along the deck and fasten off. Now I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll work this other far post and the post tops. For this second far post we join the 115, the hot red, in our third stitch along the deck. So this stitch here and we work 12 chain. We miss the first chain and work one half double crochet in each chain until we have two left. So miss the first one and work one half double crochet into each chain until there are two chain left. Now I've got two chain left, we work a joined half double crochet over the last two chains. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the second last chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the last chain and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all of the loops. And then slip stitch in the next stitch along the deck and fasten off. And that's the second post worked. Now for these little post tops for the back ones, I've got my 393, the charcoal, and we start with the magic loop and work one chain. We work two single crochet into the circle and pull the circle tight. We join with a slip stitch in the chain. and then work two chain. We slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in the side of the circle and fasten off leaving a bit of a longer tail. And the second one has worked the same. We make a magic loop and work one chain, then work two single crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain, then work two chain slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and slip stitch into the side of the circle and for fasten off with a bit of a longer tail
Now, for this centenaire post, I've got my 115, the hot red, and we start with 11 chain. We miss the first chain and work one half double crochet in each remaining chain. And we fasten off. And that's an ear centre post. Now I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put together the parts we've already made. Now there's the pieces I've got so far. I've got the bridge part. I've got the far post tops and the near post tops and the near posts. Now the first things I'll do is attach the post tops to the top of the posts, not the centre post, just the outside post. So those ones there. And then I've got some red thread and I'm going to thread it just in the back here. Just thread it along right at the bottom there, right from there to the other end. And when I come back, I'll pull it into shape. But I'll put the post tops on and then just thread the thread through and I'll be back. Now the post tops are on and my cotton is threaded through the bottom of the bridge support. Now I just pull it in on each side until I get my bridge looking how I'd like it. That looks pretty good. So I'll weave in the ends the way I'd normally do and then I'll attach the side posts to the end of the bridge. So that one goes that side and the one that slopes up goes the other side just right at the end and I'll attach the middle post right in the middle there just at the top of the black there. So just like that. Now that's the bridge partially together. Next I'll be working this centre far post. So I join my hot red in the stitch just there before the other centre post. So just join in there. and work nine chain. Miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain.
and then slip stitch in the first stitch behind the other post and fasten off. Now that's all the posts worked. We've just got these three rails to work and to get the rails right normally I would pin my bridge with the posts the way I want them to stand onto my ironing board but today I'll pin it to the blocking board so I can fit it under here. So I'll weave in these ends and I'll pin the bridge to the blocking board and I'll be back and we'll work these rails. Now I've pinned my bridge to my blocking mat and now we'll work the rails. The rails are all worked in the red and these two rails, the middle rail and the far top rail are just worked in chain quite tightly. So I'll just work some chain Now for the far top rail it goes slightly down from the top, probably start there, to this back post there and across to about here. We do two more. And that's that one. For this bottom one we work chain quite tightly again. It starts about halfway up this post, across to about halfway up this post, and then finishes about halfway up. So I need a few more for this one. Just do one more. Okay. 
and for the near top post I work chain to go from just below the top of the post to the top of the near post and then just down from the top there and then I work one single crochet in each chain so I'll check my chain but I also have to check once I've worked the silk the single crochet to make sure it's still the right size Now I'll work two more chain, I'll miss the first chain and I'll work one single crochet in each chain to the end and then I'll check it again. But I'll work my single crochets off camera, it's a bit hard working at the angle because this is a big mat. Now I've worked my single crochet, I'll just measure that's the right size so I'll fasten that one off now that's all the pieces worked to stitch it together this top railing goes in behind the side posts the near ones just down a bit it goes over the front of the middle post and then in behind the next and the middle rail goes behind the near posts about halfway down and the far post goes behind the end posts and over the top of the top of that middle post. So I'll stitch them down and I'll be back to show you the finished bridge. There's the finished bridge. The size is 17 centimetres wide by 8 centimetres or 6.5 inches wide by 3 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.